Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to solve problem number 1 under the category Routh-Hurwitz criteria. The problem is using Routh criterion determine the stability of the system represented by the characteristic equation. So this is the given characteristic equation. And the next thing is comment on the location of the roots of the characteristic equation. So here the characteristic equation is given and from this equation we have to check the stability. St checking stability is nothing but we have to tell whether the system is stable or unstable. Right. Then the next thing is we have to comment on the location of roots. We have to tell where the roots are located. Either they are present on the right half of the S-plane or on the left half of the S-plane. Right. So the first step is just write the characteristic equation given here and you have to check the powers are present in the descending order that is from bigger to smaller. You see here the maximum power is 4 and 3 and 2 and 1 and finally 0. Right. So if any one term is missing then you have to write that term as 0. I will explain you when we solve more problems. Right. So the first thing is check whether all the powers are present in the descending order that is no all the numbers should be present you see here 4 3 2 1 and here 0 right so the here, here is the first step you see after checking the characteristic equation that is starting from the power 4 you have to leave the another term and you have to connect with the next term you see here the power is 4 here the power is 2 and here the power is 0. Here we are, that is this line connects the even numbers, right? And the next thing is, here you have to draw another line in such a way that that line connects the odd numbers. That is, you have to consider the powers here, okay? Only I am telling the power as odd or even, right? So after making this, you see, s to the power 4 and here s square and here s to the power 0. So just write down the terms here. s to the power 4 is 1 and s square is 18 and s to the power 0 is 5. Right. And s cube. While writing the second term you see the power of the coefficient of s cube is 8. So write 8 here and s to the power 1 is 16. Write 16 here. Right. Since these two terms are divisible by 8, you can divide this term by 8. So, when you divide, our answer is 1 and 2. Right. So, the next thing is I am rewriting the Routh array. So, here when you look at this, s power 4. So, s power 4, the terms are 1, 18 and 5. Right. And the s cube term, the s cube terms are 8 and 16. Since the eight, these two terms are divisible by 8, I had rewritten these two terms as 1 and 2. So here I am writing those terms as 1 and 2. Right. So we are having s power 4, that is a row for s power 4 and s power 3. Right. The next thing is we have to find what is s square. So for finding s square, the formula is you see, you have to multiply like this way. That is 1 into 18, right, minus 2 into 1, divided by this corner number, divided by this 1 here, right. That is 1 into 18, minus 2 into 1, divided by this corner number, divided by this 1. You see, I have written the steps here. 1 into 18 minus 2 into 1 divided by 1. So 1 into 18 is 18. So 1 again 2 into 1 is 2. So 18 minus 2 gives you 16. So you have to write 16 here. Right. How to find the next number? So the finding the next number is again in the same way. Just you have to hide these two numbers. Right. So now you have to multiply. That is just a second. You see 1 into 5. Right, minus, here there is no number here. So, we are considering here the number as 0. So, 1 into 5 minus 0 into 1 divided by again this corner number 1. You see, I had written here. So, the answer will be 1 into 5 is 5. So, 5 minus 0 which is equal to 5 here. So, just write down the value 5. Right. 
So in the next thing is we are going to find s to the power 1 here. So how to find s to the power 1? So again in the same way that is you see you have to multiply 16 into 2 minus 5 into 1 again divided by this 16 right. You see here I had written those steps. 16 into 2 minus 5 into 1 divided by 16. So when you solve this you see you are having the answer as that is 32 minus 5 by 16 which is 27 by 16 and finally the answer is going to be 1.68. So I am uh, simplifying I am writing it as 1.7 right. So here the answer is 1.7 right so the next step is we have to find what is the value of s to the power 0 so again the same procedure you see for that this 1.7 gets multiplied by 5 and here there is no number right so we have to consider this as 0 so minus 0 into 16 divided by again 1.7 you see here i had written the steps 1.7 into 5 minus 0 into 16 divided by 1.7. So what happens? Again 0 into 16 is 0 right. So 1.7 into 5 divided by 1.7. So this 1.7, 1.7 cancels each other and the answer is equal to 5. So finally the value of S0 is found to be 5 here right. Suppose if you have any doubt, uh, if you find something difficult in the place of uh, I had not mentioned here as 0. If you have any doubt or confusion, you can write 0 here. Okay, nothing is wrong. You can represent 0 in the route array. Right. So, after finishing this, the thing which I like to say is, you see, from the highest power of the given characteristic equation, whatever may be the power here, right, even the power may be s to the power 10 also. You have to find finally till you reach s to the power 0. Okay, this is the main rule you have to keep it in mind, right. So, after forming this route array, we have to look at the first column, okay. This is our first column. So, when you look at the first column, you see all the numbers are with positive sign, right. 1, 1, 16, 1.7 and 5. So, all the elements in the first column of route array are positive, right. So, whenever the first column has all positive elements, then the system is said to be stable, right? Because there is no sign change here. All the elements are with a positive sign. So, the system is said to be stable. And the next thing is we have to tell where the roots are located because you see, this characteristic equation, the maximum power is 4, right? So, when you solve this equation, you will be having how many roots? You will be having 4 roots, right? Now, we have to tell where the roots are located. So, for a system to be stable, right? All the roots should lie on the left half of the S-plane, right? How we can tell all these roots are lying on the left half of the S-plane? Because all the elements in the route array are positive that is not positive all they don't have any sign change that is all the elements are with a positive sign even we can we can say the route array the system is stable if we contain the first column contain all with the negative signs okay if there is a sign change then the system is said to be unstable right hope you people understand this problem so finally our comment is all the four roots are lying on the left half of the S plane. Right. Hope you people understand the concept. Thank you.